I feel like I'm sitting in front of like a celebrity icon. I really do. I was so impressed with you this week. I was impressed with her. <laughs> <laughs> it must be Friday. <laughs> it must be Friday. Big news this week in the blogosphere is that the majority of Americans yes. use vibrators 52%. Uh, I suspected this, but it's always nice to have it documented. So all the times people say, oh no, oh no. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> oh no, oh no. The majority of people have one vibrator in the house. I can use a vibrator. I'll get addicted to my vibrator. Yeah. Yeah, that means you're addicted to your orgasm and to pleasure. The study showed that it was as many men. are As women. Men can use vibrators too. But the men don't want to admit it because they think vibrators are for women only. If what doesn't feel good about vibration on your genitals, um, penis or vulva, you know? Or balls or butt or titties or these kids, the, um, you remember their names? Dr. De Deborah Herbenick and Michael Reese did this study and they found them. And what was great is that Betty got an email. Deborah wrote back and was like, it was a thrill <laughs> to get an email from you and thank you for introducing the electric vibrator and bringing it mainstream. Now, people don't know the story of the now. There was only one sexuality conference ever, and now it's history in 1973, the year I was born. I love that. This, I, I mean, know, this is, I know. <laughs> now, once again, I want to repeat this, that our astrologer, the, Eric, that what I was teaching in the 70s is who you are. I know. This is a sexually, I'm her legacy. <laughs> this is a sexually liberated woman. And, and you know, and this, is, this was the image I had of, of what could be possible for women. If they if, if they accepted their sexuality, developed it, and, took and owned it, and owned it, and took, owned control, it. took control of it, took control of it. So here it goes. Uh, this is now back in the '60s, the end of the '60s, mm -hmm. when I was with Grant, uh, and we were having all this marvelous sex. I have never ever been the kind of a woman who could come fast. One day he was at the barber shop. And the barber comes out with this thing that fits on the back of your hand, and he's massaging his scalp. Ooh. And Grant, wise man that he was, he's sitting there thinking, hmm, oh. I have an idea. <laughs> I bet this would be good on a clitoris. And it sat on the back of your hand so your fingers were available. You could, you know, use your fingers. So he went directly to a barbershop supply. This is the only way they sold vibrators. He said, look, I have something we're going to play with. And I look and, and I said, it looked, like a little, so cool. it looked like a little cement mixer. And I went, it's a machine. I don't want to, you know, who wants to have sex with a machine? It was so weird. And oh, he said, all right, he said, let me just give you a massage. So I, okay, I lay down and I close my eyes. And he started up like, you know, in the scalp. And then he did my face. He got down and he did my chest and my shoulders up, and my like, okay, nipples maybe. and then he goes down and as he's getting closer and closer to my clit I'm going wow oh <laughs> this really feels good oh, oh I don't know about this he got on the clit and it was like ah and I had this huge orgasm and then I said I don't think I like that I don't think no I don't think I like the idea of a machine and then he brought it out again you know a few days later and then a few days later, then eventually I took it home. Less work for Daddy. <laughs> Once I took it home. <laughs> so when you brought it to the conference, it, did people know what it was? I had, that was the conference where I showed the female the genital sign. I showed the slides. They'll be on the site, the vulva slides. So I'm, it's all vulva, images this of is all, yeah. genitals. They're it's very powerful. powerful. And I had a workshop that afternoon um, on vibrators, electric vibrators. And I called them uh, sex machines. Did I call them? <laughs> or did I call No, yes. A sex machine and I had several of them plugged in at a table my conference room my little workshop room filled spilled over into the hallways people were struggling to get in to see it and I'm standing there with these and I'm asking you know come up here and I feel it, it feel, feel it, it. And, and, and they wouldn't put it and I said no put it on your crotch I you do it right on top of your jeans and that's all right and I know that that was the beginning because you know women pa, 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 pa. So when we have the Betty Dodson Foundation for the Sexual Arts, yes, that every any woman who is enjoying or man who is enjoying a vibrator will want to contribute to my foundation, so that yes. we can continue this work. That's right. Is that it? Because the next phase is video-based sex education. <gasps> so it's going to pay off. Well, I never thought it would.
<laughs> I was willing to go through this lifetime without any reward other than the hundreds and thousands of women that have personally thanked me. And you can't beat that. No. And that's what I've been going on. They write me notes, they write me letters, they stop me on the street, Betty, you changed my life. And I go, wow, what an honor. What an honor. What an honor to be sitting next to her. Well, and what an honor to be working with this whiz <laughs> kid I got here. Wow. We'll see you next week. Let AdamEve.com spice up your routine. Right now, you'll save 50% on one item when you enter the offer code POD10 at checkout. So go to AdamEve.com and add some spice to your life.